Cynthia Jacobo, the 2012 Big West Conference Tournament Champion, Northridge Matadors. Cynthia, you, uh, you're going to the NCAA Tournament as a senior. What does this feel like right now after such a dramatic win? It's just amazing just to see how much our team has grown from the beginning, from my freshman year to our senior year, and finishing strong our last year and wanting it, believing that we can do it, and setting our goal for us to make it into the NCAAs from the beginning. What, was, what were the emotions like the last couple of days and leading into today's game, knowing you guys are going to play in the championship game for the first time after going to the semis the previous years but, but not making it? What, what was it like coming in? Just, just no words to describe this. You just, we just wanted this really bad. We wanted to come out and knew that we can come out. We played so many tough teams, top teams in the big, in different um, leagues, and we knew we had it in our hands. And we should be winning. We should be up top with all the other teams. And it's just an amazing group of girls out here that wanted it so bad that we got it. You have 11 shutouts. It's not all you, but you play great yourself. Defensively, how are you guys able to, to keep them out of the net? They had some, some good opportunities, but, uh, but you guys got the shutout as it turned out. It's just staying, staying with one another, keep having each other's backs. Every time one goes after the ball, there's always someone else covering back if they make that mistake. And then there's someone else back there. It's always as one or like a family in the back and just hanging strong as every play, play by play. In the 54th minute, Cassie Fullerson had a penalty kick. Um, did you think at that point this, this could be it or I got to make a big time save? Take me through your thought process before and then also through, uh, through the kick. I just didn't want this the way to, to end, our, our season 10. It shouldn't, shouldn't be the way that we should be going out. And just I had to come up with a save, had to be able to try to figure out how to make the save and just be tough and stay in it through the end and hopefully it, it make for the best and everything. Just, just trying to get that save, didn't want it to go in, didn't want us to end like that and just keep fighting. Did you try to, now she missed wide, did you try to influence her before the kick and maybe get in her head a little bit? How, how about that uh, part of it? I just didn't want to get set before, just making sure, just trying to get inside her head, trying to know, trying to make the goal as small as possible and being able to make her miss, make her miss throughout the whole process and just make her hit anything besides the inside of the net. Now, Northridge is going to the women's soccer NCAAs for the first time. What does that mean to you? Being here four years and and being with this program, uh, what does it mean to have to have your group lead them to the tournament? It's just it's just amazing. It's a great feeling to be going through all these double days, all these triple days in the heat, hundred degree weather, and being able to pull it off and showing that everything that we put through summer, every day of our lives that we put on hold with everything to come and win this NCAA tournament or go into it. It's just amazing. It's it's the worst, the best feeling ever. The last question is about the game-winning goal. What did you see and what did you do after 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 uh, Melissa Fernandez scored? I just sprinted as fast as I could down the field, trying to catch up with the um, dog pile right there. Just it was just great. I just wanted to get there and just congratulate and get the celebration going with everybody. And just I don't know. It's just I couldn't describe it. I just wanted to run down there and be with the team. Well, it was definitely a dramatic moment, and uh, Cal State Northridge is NCAA bound for the first time, and uh, Cynthia Jacobo. Another shutout in the Big West, you two for two, so congratulations. Thank you.